Hey guys, Jen Hillman here, and today we are continuing our series of yoga for relaxation. So I know that we can all live really stressful lives sometimes, work starts to get you down, family life, financial issues, not to mention sitting in traffic. It's enough to make you go crazy. <laughs> Fortunately, Yoga is an amazing tool, really simple, some things that you can do to help you relax your body and relax your mind. So favorite this video, subscribe to Yoga TX, thumbs up your Jen Hillman yoga video today. And I'm gonna show you guys some really simple things you can do to help relax your body and mind, help you sleep better, feel better, and like yell at your kids less. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna start seated today. And actually, most of our work today is going to be seated, so find a comfortable place where you can stretch out and move around. And we are going to begin by bringing the soles of your feet to touch each other. All right, so if your hips are really tight, your knees might be way up really high, that's okay. Wherever you are is just fine for today. And depending on your flexibility, you may need to bring your feet a little further away. Or if you have more mobility, you can start to bring your feet closer to your body. So you just find a position that works best for you. Okay, so with the soles of your feet together, I suggest you grab onto your ankles or your shins. And as you hold on to your ankles, draw your chest forward roll your shoulders towards your spine. You can even lift your head and lift your gaze. So you're just starting to take a little back bend, stretching your chest open, lift through your spine. You can even lift through your belly button. So you lift your belly button in towards your spine and lift your belly up and in. As you draw your chest forward, lift through your gaze. And we'll slowly start to fold your body forward. So you're gonna to start to walk your hands forward and fold over your legs. Now as we're just getting started here, you might be kind of tight, a little stiff, so you can't go very far. It's totally okay. Just be right where you are. And slowly your body will start to relax so it becomes easier to get a little deeper into this stretch. So wherever you are today, just take some deep breaths. And just slowly starting to invite your body to relax. And take one more cycle of breath and let yourself fold as far forward as you can, as much as your hips will allow. And walk your hands back towards center and we'll sit all the way up. Now from here, extend just your right leg forward. So your left foot will come towards the inside of your right thigh and your hip bones are still going to be facing towards the front plane of your body. All right. So with your right leg extended, slowly start to walk your fingertips towards your ankle. So you're just taking a one legged stretch here. Draw your heart forward towards your toes which is gonna give you more stretch through your hamstrings and the backs of your leg. So we're just folding forward here. Now you may be able to grab a hold of your foot. That can help. You can get a little leverage this way to pull your body forward more. And again, remember, we're just getting started with our stretching today, so you might still be feeling a little stiff, a little tight. So it's all right if you don't reach your maximum potential right here at the beginning. Just take it one step at a time, slowly, peacefully, inviting your body to relax. Okay, so we just take our time. There's no rush. 
We spend so much of our lives rushing around from one place to another, making appointments, making meetings, doing so many things. This is our one little window of time where we can just take it easy and go slow. Okay, so walk your hands all the way back up. And this time, you're gonna open your right leg out towards the right side. So you just open it out as far as you can. It's okay if it doesn't go very wide. Just find that stretch along your inner thigh where it's like your own personal edge. <laughs> okay, and then from here, sweep your left arm up and over so you're reaching towards your right toes. So really reach through your left fingertips. So your left arm is not just dangling out there somewhere in no man's land but your left fingertips are actually reaching like you want to grab something off a shelf over there. You really got to reach for it. You're going to feel a lot more stretching sensation across the left side of your waist, all right? So really, really reach. You can go for it. And we'll come back up to center. Keep your right leg out to the side, and again, walk your fingertips forward. So this is going to give you a really deep and juicy stretch in your right inner thigh. It's like a lot of sensations. You just find your edge, just relax, take a deep breath, and do the best you can. yourself back up to a seat and now this time cross your right foot to the outside of your left thigh and if this position is difficult for you if you are having a hard time keeping your hips stable you can extend your left leg forward make it a little easier to sit okay so wherever you are just find that placement that works the best for your body and grab onto your right leg with your left hand. Bring your right hand behind you. Start to twist your shoulders and your chest towards the right side. So we're twisting our spine. You might notice some stretching sensation in your right hip. That's great. Wherever you feel this stretch is where your body is tight. It's where it needs to be stretched. So just go into that sensation, feel it, breathe. And we'll come back around to the front. This time we're gonna work on stacking our shins on top of each other, okay? So you know, bring your right ankle on top of your left knee and your right knee on top of your left ankle. Now I understand when our hips get tight, this might seem impossible. Like maybe your knee is way up here. If your hips are really tight and your right knee is very high away from your left ankle, it's okay. Just stay right here, lift through your chest, bring your hands onto your ankle and to your knee so that the weight of your hand is gently pressing your knee towards your ankle, okay? This is a great place to be. Once your hips start to open up a little more and you can really get this nice cross on your shins, then you can start to fold forward a little bit. This is gonna give you a lot of stretching sensation in your hips, so it's good. We all have tension in our hips. This is just a natural result of the lives that we live. So we're using our practice as a chance to stretch it out, relieve that tension, and relax your body. Okay, so here we go, just stretching, breathing. Find your own personal edge wherever it is.
gonna prepare to do everything on the left side. But let's just come back to that first position, bringing the soles of your feet together and just notice how it feels different. So it feels different from the first time you did it. And now it's gonna feel different from your right leg to your left leg. This is just a moment to observe. It doesn't take long. It doesn't take much time or effort to stretch your body and get this kind of relaxation. So thank you for joining me today. All right, so let's take it to the left side, extending your left leg forward. And the right foot will come to the inside of your left thigh. Then walk your fingertips towards your foot slowly folding forward. So I don't know about you guys, but my left leg is always a little bit more tight than the right side. So I have to be a little bit more patient, just work with it and accept that there's a little bit more limitation on this side. If you can reach your foot or maybe your ankle, you can grab a hold there to give yourself leverage to fold even deeper. Again, we're always just trying to find that edge, that nice balance between pushing yourself to stretch and increase your flexibility while also honoring when your body needs to stop. Okay, so it's a playful edge, finding how can I stretch a little deeper and how much is too much. Only you know, so you have to trust yourself and listen to your inner wisdom. And we'll walk all the way up and open your left leg out towards the left side. And again, it doesn't matter how wide your leg goes, you're just gonna find that comfortable position where you open your leg out towards the side. Then sweep your right arm up and over towards your left toes. And again, we're gonna really activate and energize your right fingertips, reaching as far as you can so that you really get an active sensation across the right side of your waist here. So we're really getting a good stretch. Stretching, stretching, stretching. And breathing all the time. And come up. And again, walk your hands right down the middle, straight forward, stretching into your left thigh. for that seated twist. So you can bring your left foot to the outside of your right thigh and either keep your right knee bent and tucked underneath you or you can extend your right leg out. So you just find however you feel the most supported and stable. And take a hold of your left leg, bring your left hand behind you and twist, opening your chest towards the left side. We're getting a nice twist here. I'm definitely feeling that stretch across my left hip. Must be kind of tight in there. I've been driving a lot lately, so I know my body's really feeling it. So it's nice. Making these videos is a win-win. You guys get to stretch and follow along, and I get to stretch and move my body too. So it's good for me and good for you. So thanks for watching. I'm glad you can join me today. All right, you guys ready to stack your shins? We're gonna try it, see how it goes on this side. Try and stack your ankle over your knee and your knee over your ankle. And again, if your knee is really high up, your hip is tight, it's all right. Just bring your left hand on your knee, 
your right hand on your ankle, sit up nice and tall through your spine, and just gently apply a little pressure with your left hand, helping to stretch your left knee down towards your ankle. Then eventually it'll start to relax and open up so you can really stack your shins well. Once you're in this place, you can get even more sensation by letting your body fold forward. So again, we just walk your hands forward and find your own personal edge. Go inside, stretch your hips. Press yourself all the way up if you're folded forward. And then we're gonna come back one more time to that same position that we started in, bringing the soles of your feet together. And now you may notice that maybe your knees are a little bit lower. Maybe you can bring your feet in a little bit closer to your body. Just notice how a few minutes of stretching can really make such a big difference. Our bodies are so responsive to whatever information we give it. So this is proof in the pudding right here that it really does matter, it really does make a difference. So we can fold forward one more time, just finding that nice stretch in your hips. Enjoy the openness that we've created, more space, more relaxation. And then we'll come all the way up and get ready to lie down onto your back. Okay. All right, so from your back, I'm gonna do a little twist. So draw your right knee up into your chest, hug your right knee in and we'll twist towards the left. So bring your knee all the way across to the left side. Even if your right shoulder comes up off the floor, it's okay. Just bring your knee all the way down and open your right arm out to the right side. So you might even get a little stretch across your chest. So this is another good area to stretch. As we sit hunched over our desk most days, your chest and pecs can get really tight. So this is a really good one to not only stretch your spine, but to also stretch across your chest. It's good stuff. And then make your way back to center. We'll switch sides. So extend your right leg down and draw your left knee up towards your chest. Give it a good little squeeze and cross your knee over to the right side. So bring it all the way to the floor. Even if your left shoulder has to come up, it's okay. You just open your left arm out to the side and relax into that stretch across your chest and through your spine. Doing these types of twists are so good for your body because it helps to cleanse and detoxify your organs and your entire circulatory system. So yoga is beneficial not just for our muscles and our bones, but it's also helping our nervous system. It also helps our circulatory system and all the other systems of our body are positively affected when we take some time to do a little bit of yoga. It's really powerful medicine in so many ways. 
Let's come all the way back to the middle. Release your left leg down. Let your hands relax down by your sides with your palms facing up to the sky. And let your feet fall open to the sides so your hips and your legs are completely relaxed. And as you lay here, you can let your eyes close and just give yourself a few moments here to really and truly relax. You work hard, you're busy, you deserve this moment just for yourself to slow down. Just feel your body and feel your breath. And I invite you to stay and relax here for as long as you can, as long as you need it. And whenever you're ready to come out of your peaceful rest, gently roll over onto one side. So you come into a relaxed fetal position. You can take a moment to pause here. And as you're ready, use your top arm to help you press yourself up back to a comfortable seat. So there's no rush. You can take as much time as you need to enjoy this moment of relaxation that you've created for yourself. Thank you so much for watching and following along with me today. Don't forget to favorite this video and leave me your comments below. You can also visit my website, jenhillman.com to learn more about me and my practice and all of the exciting things that I'm up to. I look forward to sharing with you more. Thanks for joining. Just a little bit deeper. Notice how the stretch changes. Where do you feel it the most? Send your breath to that place. slowly come all the way back.